Tbilisi, capital of Georgia in the southern Caucasus, a region of hot summers and very cold winters. In January 2006, Georgia's most important gas importing pipeline was bombed on a remote stretch in the mountains. The damage left Georgian households largely unheated and partially without light for more than a week. At the foot of the 5,000 meter high Kazbek mountain, the pipeline crosses the border from Russia into Georgia. With support of the European Union, a modern gas metering station was built at the border. Measuring natural gas is a complicated process involving pressure control as well as the quality of the gas itself. The measuring equipment helps the Georgian Gas Corporation to strengthen their position with the Russian gas supplier. This stabilizes the Caucasus gas market and provides Georgian households with energy at more affordable prices. The coral reefs in the Gulf of Aqaba, between Egypt, Israel and Jordan, host about a thousand species of fish, more than hundred of them to be found nowhere else in the world. But the Gulf also hosts major oil terminals and a lot of sea traffic. Even small oil slicks endanger the unique nature of the area and the health of tourists and locals. Within minutes of an alarm, the experts of the Sharm El Sheikh Oil Spill Response Center will be on their way. Okay, if a tanker is coming from uh, Europe, uh, it should pass the Suez Canal, moving to Gulf of Suez. So a lot of incidents used to happen in this area. Gulf of Aqaba got uh, a lot of uh, oil ter terminals, major oil terminals. If an incident happened, for example, here, uh, the current may push the oil hitting the shore, which will affect the resorts, especially located in Nama Bay. And if it moves a little bit down, it moves to Ras Muhammad National Park, which we give a high priority. It's a very sensitive area. A 24-hour standby crew and a specialized oil combat vessel, paid for by the European Union, react to oil spills immediately by bringing the slick under control and removing the oil from the sea. It is a recovery equipment. It is used to recover the oil from the surface sea to our storage tank here in the vessel. The, the machine floating on the surface of the oil and starting to suction the oil uh, from the pump. The Carpathian region is the new eastern border of the European Union, where Ukraine, Slovakia and Hungary neighbour each other. Vlad Šopak is working for a regional development agency. He works on a study on the potential of biomass production in the region. Today, Vlad is visiting his Slovakian project partners, who present him with a fully implemented project of biomass production and usage. <laughs> Takže asi 10 kotov môžete... Kľudne. A ešte jednu vec treba dôležitú povedať, že tú drevnú štiepku sa predáva iba obciam, hej, pre ich verejné vykurovanie. My to nedávame súkromníku. Nie, 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 nie. Ну, в першу чергу, мушу зазначити, що проєкт ініціювали наші словацькі партнери. 
Тобто нам, як представникам України, навіть голову не приходило, що потрібно займатися питаннями біомаси. Тобто є віробіра древна щепка за закладної суровини, за сурдого древа бук, бук, дуб, граб. Відназначне. Так, зараз ми знаходимося в місцевості, де є засобник на щепку, де тут є котлик. Аж до гори? А воно тут все? Воно все забере. Конкретно тут в Ублі є напоєна всі павілони, вратання закладної школи. Plus materská školka, plus obecní úřad, plus záchranná služba, plus zdravotní stanovisko, plus pošta, plus byty. A přitom ještě vysá energie, ještě i ještě vysá zvýšila, a navíc paní, kteří těch bytových, co tu jsou, vedle, co tu jsou vidno.